What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So I said to you last week, if you were listening to the video about the match pass, I said to you guys about doing a couple of videos where I'd be sending back feedback and suggestions and stuff. So I want to get you guys involved. Let me know any suggestions or feedback that you have. And let me know what you think of this video because we are going to be doing a couple of these, right? So I think the big problem at the moment in eFootball with the point shop, I think that that controls a lot of stuff and there is a lot of potential in it. So obviously I did a review on Demichelis. He's basically a free player that you can get with the eFootball points. It's very easy to get points if you play divisions and they also give you free points with the logging campaigns and stuff. But we're going to take a quick look here at the eFootball points. You've got players and you've got items, right? So I've bought a couple of these players. You can check your balance there and see when they're going to be expiring. So you kind of do have to, you know, you do have to kind of use these. Um, I think the items, obviously, we get the trainer points. You don't really need them. You know, they're very costly. The contract renewal is 25,000 uh, points as well. So I think that's a bit of a waste, depending on how the contracts will, will be working. We have yet to see. But the biggest problem I have, I think, with my squad is when I first started this game, and I see a lot of people talking about this, they don't have the ability to be able to reset their stats or their per the way that they trained up their players. So I have this issue with Romario, Vieira, uh, Puyol. I have it an issue with a couple of the other players that I've signed as well. Because when I actually first signed Romario, it was literally day one. The first time I'd ever played eFootball 2022's Dream Team. So way back when. And I obviously didn't really know when I was training up the player's stats, that I had to take the play style into consideration. Now, obviously, this was within the first 20 minutes of me playing the game that I had trained up Romario, who I got as a free uh, bonus when I did it, you know, when I signed him in Dream Team, when I first signed in. Vieira is the same. So I literally just have a lot of my earlier version of the players because they were set at the random team play style or a low team play style such as Skolzi, such as Puyol there that you're seeing, and such as Oliver Kahn, who I got off the marketplace as well. Um, and this is obviously an issue if you are coming up against guys that have got a 100 team playstyle, right? There is a couple of questions out there whether that makes a huge difference. But look at Oliver Kahn, right? He's a perfect example. I have him fully trained up from playing with him, but I do not have him maxed out with his training because I'm, I'm kind of at a kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, to be honest with you, lads, because if I train up every one of his stats to bring him up that he's able to be a viable goalkeeper for playing Division 1 or Division 2, I'm going to have no team play style proficiency with him. So I'm not going to be able to carry him if I play out wide. Because I play out wide, the only manager there at the moment is a level 80. So for Oliver Kahn, even if I allocate all the points, his team play style is not going to be taken into consideration. So I just think that there needs to be a little bit more thought put into the team play style. Obviously, they've switched it up now. And pretty much all of the new players, such as Simmons here and all of the new legends and the epics and stuff, they have just 90 as their team play style proficiency. So, yeah. Now, I've done up a couple of mock-ups here that you're going to be seeing for the eFootball point shop. To bring it more in line with my club, you know, you don't need to look ahead too far. You can look into the past. Obviously, I don't want a lot of stuff repeated from my club, but I do think that they got a lot of stuff right with the squad managing, management and being able to put their own stamp on the squad right so the first thing i would like to see is eFootball point shop adding progression points position trainers and skill trainers right we're going to have a look at these i've done up a couple of mock-up screens just to give you an idea let me know what you think um and thoughts on these because i get a lot of people asking me about this and my thoughts on it myself so when we go in here i would envision this is why you know how it would look so you still have your players you've got your items but you also have your squad items which you would be able to exchange your points for various squad management items so we are talking about position trainers we're talking about squad trainers we're talking about different things that you could actually use to benefit your squad so that is where i think the eFootball kind of dream team needs to go is that being able to put your own stamp on your squad right you know obviously when edit mode comes we'll have our custom kits and we'll have all that sort of good stuff but i still think with this you could do this that you could people could reset their squads and stuff like that without having to release players and buy them again so the first thing that you would see to exchange for might be just progression points some sort of system or some sort of token that you would be able to redeem in the shop and you would be able to just basically reset player training now we'll get to that in a second You'd also have position trainer, which would train players in a second position. We obviously had that in my club. And the skill trainer. Pay no real heed to the icons here at the moment. 
the skill trader which would be to exchange player skills with a random player skill or else you could choose from a list based on that position so for example a center back might be able to get blocker if he didn't have it or he might be able to get acrobatic clearance if he didn't have it or so on and so forth so i think this would come really into fruition if you had trained up a player he wasn't working out for you and you wanted to reset him you know if he's one of your top players right obviously i think that the way that the players operate at the moment and the fact that you can get like you know so many good players for really cheap or for free such as mbappe or messi that they give out free but i do think that if they do start to kind of tone it back with how many good players you actually get in your squad when eFootball 24 launches this could be huge we'd also have this as well you see Demichelis here we've done a mock-up of him his player skills are in white on the on the bottom right but we've also got added blocker which was added by the skill trainer and we can also add another skill by clicking that add skill button and if you have got a trainer then you would be able to get it if you didn't you'd be able to buy it in the eFootball point shop so you know, lastly but not leastly last but not least we would have Neymar who you can see here his positions in the top right hand screen with the position guides or the player playable positions that he's able to play so obviously he can play left wing attack in mid ss or left mid left wing so we would be able to train him as a right winger here whether we choose it or whether it just does it the same way as my club so i think little things like this little kind of user interface things and ways of being able to actually control your squad and boost up players i always said i have a big idea that i'm going to try and get across in another video but let me know for this part of the video what you guys think. This is going to be part one of kind of suggestions and stuff for the eFootball e point shops, being able to reset stats, train players again, and go from there. So let me know what you guys think. I will be back quite soon, if it's a yay or a nay on this. And let me know all your suggestions and feedback, lads. Peace.